Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are right outside the door, getting ready to confront Kellogg. My game is still struggling to load in, so here we go. Alright, bud. Where's my son? You took my son. Where's my son? Where's my son? You jerk! And there she is. Oh, my lord. <laughs> <sighs> Not as funny as I had planned. Exactly how I thought it was going to go. Alright. <laughs> go ahead. Not do that again. Um, pew pew's on. Pulse grenade. Don't want to deal with that. Let's go. Fragmentation grenade. What if I actually... Can I do... Because I know I'm going to get absolutely bopped. So let's go ahead... See if that gets me killed. Um, let me do one more right here. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. You know what? We'll find out. There she is. Yeah, the let's talk. Resilient woman in the Commonwealth. You so, my son. Here we are. Funny, huh? A little bit. Give me my son. You murdering. Kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. Now! Right to it then. Oh, huh? glitch. Okay. Fine. Your son, Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. Oh, I but did. If you're hoping apparently. for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen. Your boy's not here. Well. Then where is he? God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. <gasps> I'll find him. Don't you worry. Here, the Institute, I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. You might have actually been a good mother. And I admire your dedication. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Oh, buddy. Let's see how fast I die, huh? All right, I'm ready. You know I am, Kellogg. Get out of here. What, let me shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Run, run, run. Oh, you just get obliterated. Leave my dog alone, dude. Ew. I'm gonna be right by this mine when it goes off, so I'm gonna get myself for it. Okay, one down. Y'all wanna not set up this mine? Okay. Let's grab that. Let's go ahead and pull up some grenades instead, then. Fuck you. Oh, he's got a grenade too. Oh man, dog meat. Oh jeez. Nope, that's him. Is he dead yet? Nope. Out of here. Oh my gosh, he has a lot of damage. What? Let me heal. Ah, she does a lot of damage. Don't come over here. Oh, a grenade! 
Oh, he's gonna fuck me up. Oh, he's gonna mess me up. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay. Oh, there we go. Cool. There's still the synth over here? Where's he at? Ow! What? Oh, that's a thing? Look at Gimpy over here. To the left. To the right. Take it back now, y'all. Get him, puppy. Alright. Cool. That sucked. We'll take it all. Cybernetic brain argument. What is this? Does he have robotic limbs? Cyborg. At least I still get to uh, get a stealth boy. I'm never gonna tech. use. You were barely human. Exactly, barely human. All right, so now I gotta go check out his terminal. Nope, can't keep looting stuff. Ear examiner, a sensor. Oh, hello. Bingo. Mini game. Oh, if I keep taking stuff. I'm gonna have a rough time. Alright, I gotta come back for this later. <coughs> I wonder what the hack level is. View access logs. The boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down the Renegade. Gather reinforcements. Clear out and secure Far Hagen. We move out soon. Where are they moving out to? Open the doors. Okay. Way to go, good boy. Alright, we will go ahead and mob on out of here. Kind of look forward to coming back here and looting this thing. Oh, I made a mess, didn't I? We come. See if we can take this stuff with us. Safety crate, let's go. All right, boy. We're heading down, up, going up. Up it is. Oh, it's gone. Oh, yep, it's still here. Safety crate, boy. Safety crate. Do 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 do. Ding. All right. Up. Oh, don't crash. Don't crash. There Roof we go. Access. Hell yeah. Roof access. Oh, come on, man. All right. Uh, turret controls. Deactivate just in case. And then we'll open the door. Okay. It took it a minute to open the door. Hey, yo, what? Oh, gosh dang it. Oh! That's a, a big old blimp! People of the Commonwealth. Golly. Do not interfere. Our intentions oh. are peaceful. Is that a ship too right we there? We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Get to the chopper. See, and here's my thing. You see this? Your first time playing? How do you not immediately take off? God, like Shadow of Steel, huh? Yeah, that's a big blimp. Alright. Oh, don't go overweight. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, boy. Dirty gray suit. Get out of here. Okay. Look at that. What a suit. We folded it up before we dropped it on the ground and everything. Does this thing fade? I kind of want to know. If this thing just fades off into the distance or if you watch it the whole time. 
Listen, I know no one wants to watch me stare at a blimp this whole time, but I've got a lot of questions. Yeah. All right. Oh man. Oh, there's so much to explore here too. Look at that janky old building. You still over there? It is. Is this gonna park over here? This whole blimp disappears. I'll be pretty amazed. Alright, what am I supposed to do again? Ah. Okay. So, oops. So I will go back to Sanctuary, drop off a bunch of my stuff, and I will meet you guys back at uh, Valentine's Detective Agency. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Oh my point. gosh. She's, She's everywhere. Client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well. Speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You want a souvenir? I got two of them. An outfit and a gun. And it looks like you might need the gun. Where to begin? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Well? Oh. Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No. Oh. I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is... I didn't mean to be a dick. I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Kellogg, huh? And like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Well, he's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Yo. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Dr. Amari. I could ask questions, but I don't... You know, we'll find out when we get there. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Well... Turns out he's partially robotic. Actually... I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way. Um... Let me introduce you to Omari. 
But if you want to head there together, just say so. No. No. No, I don't like either of you. I'll head there on my own. All right, see you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get you a boy back. Just a few more steps. A few? Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Oh. Oh no, she's freaking out. They don't know where to go. Oh, we just staring at walls now? Don't look at me like that. Get out of here. Um, so I think there's some stuff I can snag. Yeah, the mysterious stranger file. There's that for anyone that wants to read it. NCR. Oh, I haven't heard that in forever. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Commonwealth Capital NCR Shady Sands. Ta da! Oh, free ammo, why not? Is there another. Uh... And forever. At least, not if I have my say. Okay. You got it, bud. Free stuff I can take, free stuff I can take. Uh, more stuff to sell. Don't need all that. I can come back and grab it later. If I remember correctly, I can grab all his case files, can I? Uh, there's another one. Nope. Alright. We got Marty Boy. Um, Earl Sterling. Oh, I don't want to read this. Yeah, dude disappeared. I'm saying he's caught by the boogeyman. Oh, Rob, go. Excellent. Zeta Invaders. I wonder if these games are actually any good. At some point, I'll have to pop them on. Oh, all sorts of quests lined up. Okay. Uh, I need to go to Good Neighbor. No. I think I've been by Good Neighbor. I don't think I've actually made it to Good Neighbor. Okay, good neighbor. Okay, lag neighbor. Oh, buddy. Alright, here we go. Dude's got a cigarette. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? So? You can't go back off, dude. around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Man, I'll fuck was you that? up. I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents Finn, start happening to you. Fucked up. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Oh, damn. Hey, Nick. What do you care? No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oof. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Yeah, I'm good. You all right, sister? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the yeah, people, for I the feel people. You, boy. you feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. Don't worry about so it, bud. So long as you remember. Don't care that much. Charge. Hey, Finn, give me your shit, dickhead. Enjoy being dead right there. Oh, now he's gonna wipe off his stuff. Big, uh... Hey, you want some of his shit? Well, hello. 
Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill You would think they would take off that USA. Except me. Thing on there, I'll I cover it up, you know? I want to. I mean, who cares, but you think they'd cover it up? I'll take a look. Oh, sure. Oh, boy. A gun for every occasion. Anything, uh, party starter. Missile launcher does 50% more damage against humans. Nice. Ooh, plasma pistol. I haven't seen a whole lot. Scatter boosted laser rifle. Some of those 44. Cool. Oh, we got Devastator's White Grieve. Slowest time during combat. Ooh. 10% of melee damage. Huh. Power armor frames. How much do they cost here? Oh! 5490 here. Not 6100. Okay. Nice to meet you, Cleo. Oh, that's why they drop off the frame, huh? Where do they get all these daisy discounts, frames from? Anyways, we're heading back here. There's just people everywhere with guns. This, is the, this looks like a mafia type area. We got a Hotel Rexford. Some guy being weird in the corner. And the memory den. What's in this little corner? Oh, that's a warehouse. That's no-no juice to go in there. Oh, okay, here. Go. Okay. Golly. Looking like a small slice of Vegas. Just take one section of Fremont Street. There you go. out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Okay, flirt it up. Oh, the lag. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. So if I... Is she the face of the place now? What are you, uh... Okay. Listen, pal. It's not like someone's tapping on a computer behind the scenes. Oh, nothing. No, some jet. A lot of stuff we're stealing. Alright, Nick. Let's see what Amari's all about. Let's lag our way there. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. Uh -huh. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. I'll be sarcastic to you. I don't like you. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had <laughs> inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Oh, do I? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. Cynthia? I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Okay. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. 
But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. All right. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Oh, brother. Let's I know, see. bud. I don't like this either. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Okay. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. I just stood up, I guess. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? Yes. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. Sounds sketch. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. And keep your fingers crossed. Spoken like a true woman who has side. no idea how any of this science works. Don't question it. They say it's what we gotta do, it's what we gotta do. Please stand by. Up, up, down, down. Cute snippies. Did you go like four rooms away? What's going on here? Nope, now we're in. I, I see the light. I'm heading to the light. I am the light. What is going on? Can you hear me? Ah, good. There we go. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Am I a I'll brain? I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. Oh. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Alright, let's go. It's a weird way to picture, like, walking through someone's memories. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Felix like Grognak. such a dummy back then what did I know about how the world worked huh I think now she wanted me to kill him I should have instead I ended up running away I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules but really I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from dad Yikes. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Oh, I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. This doesn't seem to be what. Don't know why Mom was with him. 
Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Nothing so, sorry, I didn't mean to overlap memories and Amari. I apologize. Not my goal. Oh, hello. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Gang, gang. Then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Ooh. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. We'll see. Yo, someone shut that baby up. That's okay. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to oh, the what? next no. intact memory. No. Okay. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. A lot of self-hate there going on, huh? Don't care about Sarah, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Keep her going. Oh. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Looking familiar. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. He's in full-on leather. Another memory to try. I'll connect it. Okay. Leather armor, rogue leathers. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oof. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. Got wastelander. Wastelander. Bartender. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's upgrade oh, the metal. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? Half up front. That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem okay. to be getting closer. Try this next one. Whoa. Sounds like people are walking around. I guess this time it's me. Okay. To the next. He became a mercenary. After he lost his family. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. 
It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, Ooh. initiate. Ooh. Bopped him. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. Impressive. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain fuel. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connection. Shoot my yep. Yeah. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Now he's in his regular one. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. A classic Kellogg. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Oh, what the hell? Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. All these people were alive? I thought they all got roasted. Sorry, I mean you get in the way. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. Sure. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Oh, so he didn't even like the Institute. If she could take me out. They won't be able to hide from her for long. Oh. Here. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... Golly! I'd like to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Oh, man. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Is it going to show me looking away? Because I looked away hardcore. I don't want no part of this. I'm going to tell you once. Thought I'm not doing it again. I'm not looking. Oh. Looks like I'm really freaking out over here. Oh, now I am. Golly. At least we still have the backup. Oh, I'm just freaking out like everyone else. Okay. Ugh. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, are you? Through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. All right. Another what? years or some shit how much longer was it after that i actually don't know kind of that much longer is that your son this appears to be a very recent memory so good news i think It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. 
But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Not good. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out Thanks. differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Man, he really likes that gun. Okay. This whole setup in Diamond oh. City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure oh. and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always oh. on my side. Fucked. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here Wee. like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Okay. Well, we flashed over. How are you guys going? X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Okay. Oh, that scared me a little bit. It froze. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is oh, no entrance. Oh, man. Let me pull you out of there. As soon, soon as, as I'm ready. ready. Yeah, what else am I going to do here? Want me to just fuck around and go back through the memories? Oh, God, I broke it. There we go. Jesus. Oof. I hear my dog. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects you can feel on the map. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Fuck, where's Nick? Uh, am I okay? Are you seeing anything? Anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Um, teleportation, all right. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Find homie. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. 
A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. I'll find him. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea no. for a reason. All right. I will find a way. I'll find a way to get through the reds. Don't worry. Good luck. And look at me, man. Be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you okay. upstairs. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this part. This is going to turn into a whole lot of uh, radiation and having... I'm going to use my hazmat suit, but then I won't have any defense. It's all going to go bad. Is he waiting up here? Yes, he is. Sneaky fuck. What's up, buddy? Be creepy. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Uh... Sarcastic. You want to try for round two, huh? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Oh, I'm going by myself, dude. Get out of here. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find yeah. me. I don't care. Can you leave? Bye-bye. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next time. You can go. Get. I could care less. All right. I don't know if I want to... Ooh, what's this? A door. Oh. Should have known better. Silver shroud, though. What's in this door? Memory pod loaded up? Oh. You no, know I'm not. Irma. Sorry to intrude. What? Yo, I was trying to leave him alone. Oh, okay. Well, and on that note... Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm sorry this episode turned into more of a movie than it was doing anything. But, uh, plot's important, you know? Gotta learn some stuff. A little sympathetic for Kellogg, but at the same time, not that sympathetic. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.